tutorial I am going to show you how to design this price list infographic design in PowerPoint keys that I am using during the design you can see at the below bar follow these keys and watch the video till the end go to format background I am going to give it some different color go to shapes take this rounded rectangle and drag vertically I am going to Control D to duplicate it and take this curve shape and uh, draw this curve shape by clicking at some point where you want uh, to make a curve. Yes. And click outside the shape yes again click by holding control by holding control click at this point click at this point by holding control and holding control click on the end of the shape now you can fix where you want the curve to be control both select both by holding shift and go to fragment and now I'm getting this shape only to place it here on the first shape select all and delete select both shape outline make it no outline I'm going to give it some gradient okay i need some stops for uh, a gradient to give it some gradient bronze gradient i'm going to make it bronze gradient yes this one take the recent and from uh, the recent and take another from the recent colors okay i'm going to make it a little bit place it at at the gradient look uh, premium add another stop add another stop here also i'm going to make it a little bit light yes now it's okay give it uh, the light color i'm going to make it a little bit more light okay give it some shadow effect and take uh, i think so this one transparency will be maybe around 70 75 and size one or four okay i'm give it some also shadow effect to this star to this shape 65 transparency is okay and uh, it's i think it's okay take another rounded rectangle make it fully rounded and uh, place it here i'm going to give it some gradient color let's delete extra stops i need only two stops and uh, the little from up to down and a little bit gray color light gray color and white stop i'm going to also go to its line also gradient yes the 
outline gradient will be inverse to the fill gradient keep in mind that outline gradient will be inverse to the fill gradient of the shape I'm going to make it uh, its width a little bit increase in size yes give it some shadow effect make it little bit blur I have some text to bring the text to the slide that I have typed earlier to save the time control V to bring it to the slide now place it at over the shape I'm going to make it white select this one and give it some bullets i think so this is okay this will be okay yes control d to duplicate it to here you can add more text i'm going to make it uh, perfect okay i am going to make it perfect the text make it perfect uh, align as i am doing by okay b y by yes now and select montesirot enter and place it here I'm going to make it decrease the font and place at the center of a rounded rectangle. Okay. I'm going to align it perfectly, select all and control D to duplicate it and uh, place in arrow. and control D to duplicate it uh, I'm going to fix the text and uh, the shapes color bronze yes here's a bronze color uh, okay I'm going to make it uh, silver color silver gradient to pick silver gradient select the stop and uh, through the eyedropper or in recent color that you have have used recently and uh, pick these colors one by one give the dark color to the one stop and to the next stop give the light color and it will give a beautiful gradient I'm going to give it some light gray color to yes this is okay I'm going to make uh, this text to gold and change the shape gradient to gold gradient yes select this top and uh, pick through the eyedropper the gold dark color and uh, the next stop will be the light color yes now pick one by one one the dark color from the recent colors and uh, going to the second one light color from the recent color I'm 
I'm going to make the dark color a little bit light. One by one. Okay. And pick the recent color. Now it's okay. Give the this shape also a light color. and uh, select all place it at the center of the slide you can increase these priceless numbers by hold by uh, by clicking ctrl d to duplicate it price list select and uh, i'm going to give it monty sirot point yes and make it increase in font yes place it at the center of the slide Okay, take this rounded rectangle and draw the rounded rectangle over these text shape fill, no fill, shape outline and uh, make its width uh, to 3 and I'm going to give it some gradient color, go to line gradient and uh, I'm going to give it some gradient colors, I need some stops here and uh, give these gradient one by one to give it more width and give some shadow effects I think so this will be okay please subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed please subscribe it and hit the bell icon to get uh, the latest design thank you for watching